Good morning, class. So today we are going to look at chapter 6, Cell Division. The content standard for this topic, 6.1, Cell Division. 6.2, Cell Cycle and Mitosis. 6.3, Meiosis. And the last subtopic, Issues of Cell Division on Human Health. So class, we look at 6.1, Cell Division. The learning standard for this subtopic. At the end of this subtopic, you should be able to describe chiokinesis, which is the nuclear division, cytokinesis, cytoplasmic division. And you should be able to describe the terms haploid, diploid, chromatin, homologous chromosome, paternal chromosome, and maternal chromosome. The cells in our body always grow, divide, and die. The dead cell must be replaced with the new cell. So the question is, how does an organism produce a new cell? Yes, very good. It is through cell division. Cell division involves two stages. The first one is chiokinesis which is nuclear division. That means it involves the division of the nucleus. Then cytokinesis, which is the cytoplasmic division, involves the division of cytoplasm. So during cell division, the nuclear division occurs first. That means the nucleus will start to divide into two. Then followed by cytokinesis. After cytokinesis, the new daughter cell will produce. So class, I want you to scan this QR code to look at the importance of cell division. Okay, You have to list down the importance of cell division in your notebook according to the notes in this ICT 6.1. So we continue. The organism's body cells can be divided into two types. Either it is somatic cells or reproductive cells. That means actually there are many cells inside our body. All the cells inside our body, they can be divided into two groups. Okay? Either it is somatic cell or reproductive cell. Reproductive cell, we call it gamete. So class, there are only two types of reproductive cell. For male, we call it sperms. And for female, we call it ovum. The rest are all somatic cell. Okay? So we look at the somatic cell and the gamete. Somatic cells are the body cells apart from gamete. That means beside gamete, the rest are all under somatic cell. The somatic cells are produced through mitosis process. So after this, we are going to see what is mitosis. Okay, what is mitosis? So it contains a deployed number of chromosomes. Inside the somatic cell, it contains deployed number of chromosomes. What is the meaning of deployed? That is, in each cell, they contain two sets of chromosomes, okay? For example, in human, the somatic cell 2N equal to 46. So after this, we are going into detail. What is the plot number, okay? So now, we look at the gamete, or we call it reproductive cell. The gamete is reproductive cell, sperm and ovum. So it is produced through meiosis process, the another type of cell division, meiosis. Then it contains haploid number of chromosome. Okay, diploid means two set. Then haploid means one set of chromosome or n. So in human gamete, n equal to twenty three. That means forty six divided by two, twenty three. Now we are going to look at the terms haploid, diploid, chromatin, homologous chromosome, maternal chromosome, and maternal chromosome. We must understand these terms before we go into detail the type of cell division. Now we look at diploid paternal maternal chromosome. The diploid cells contains two sets of chromosomes, or we call it 2N. Okay, diploid number of chromosome. That means one set of chromosome originate from the male parents. Our father, we call it paternal chromosome, and another set of chromosome is come from the female parents, our mother, or we call it maternal chromosome. What are the examples of diploid cell class? 
For example, human somatic cell. The somatic cell, for example, the liver cell, epithelial cell, white blood cell, nerve cell, and the muscle cell, they are all diploid cells. That means inside the nucleus of this cell, they have two sets of chromosomes. So you look at this picture. This is the human skeletal muscle cell, nerve cell, epithelial cell, and this is the white blood cell. They are all diploid cells. Okay, you look at this picture. There are how many chromosomes in this cell? Very good. We have one, two, three, four. Four chromosomes. So 2N equal to 4. This is a diploid cell. The red color chromosome comes from the father. The blue color will come from the mother, okay? which is the maternal chromosome. Haploid class. Haploid cell contain one set of chromosome. So it is different from the diploid. Diploid D means 2. Haploid half means only one set of chromosome. Or we can say N. N means the haploid number of chromosome. The example are human gamete and the sperm or egg, or we also call it ovum. So the human gametes are haploid gamete. That means they only contain one set of chromosome. So this is the human sperm and the human ovum. Okay, then we look at chromosome. Chromosome we have learned in our previous chapter, the last part of our previous chapter, the nucleic acid. We learned how the chromosome is formed. It is formed from a polynucleotide chain, which wrap together, the DNA wrap together with the protein called histone. Okay, called histone to form the nucleosome. Nucleosome continue to coil to form the chromosome and it is found in so we look at the homologous chromosome class. Homologous chromosome are chromosome pair. That means a pair of chromosome that consists of a paternal chromosome and a maternal chromosome. That means it's a pair of chromosome which made up of the chromosome from the father and the chromosome from the mother. Okay, we can see this is one pair of homologous chromosome. So if the red color is come from father, the paternal chromosome, then the blue color will be come from mother, the maternal chromosome. So this is another pair of homologous chromosome. Okay, so this is if this is come from father, the paternal chromosome, then this one should be maternal chromosome. So why do we call it homologous chromosome? The homologous, homologous chromosome, they have the same structural characteristic. That means they are similar in length. Then the centromere location is the same and also the gene position are the same. So you can see here, there are three sets of chrom homologous chromosome. Okay? The three sets of homologous chromosome here, they have the same length. The same length. And what we can see from the diagram is the centromere position are the same. The location of the centromere are the same. So we have three sets of homologous chromosome here. So class, this is our human male chiotide. You look at the chiotide. You can see the homologous chromosome are arranged from the longest to the shortest, number 22. Pair number 23 is our sex chromosome, XY or XS. XY for male, XS for female. So you can see the first pair of homologous chromosome that have the same length, the position of the centromere is the same. Okay, so during the exam, if they ask you to arrange the homologous chromosome, always pair up the chromosome which has the same length together. They are homologous so there are how many pairs of homologous chromosome? Class, this picture show how many pairs of homologous chromosome. Yes, there is no homologous chromosome here. Okay, there are only three chromosomes without pair. Okay, so a copy of each set of chromosome, it is haploid. It is haploid. So according to this diagram, N equal to what? One, two, three. 
Yes, good. The answer is three. That means in this uh, nucleus, there is only three chromosomes. So it is haploid. Then you look at this diagram. How many pairs of homologous chromosome? Very good. There are three pairs of homologous chromosome. Okay. This is the first pair. One, two, three. Three pair of homologous chromosome. So that means two copy of each chromosome. It is deployed. Two N. So class, you tell me in this nucleus, two N equal to what? One, two, three, four, five, six. What is the number of two N? There are how many chromosomes in this nucleus? Two N equal to very good, equal to 6. Okay, equal to 6. So class, you look at this diagram, A and B. Which one is deployed? Which one is haploid? Well done. A is haploid, B is deployed. So there are how many chromosomes in A? Good, 3, 1, 2, Three chromosome. Then there are how many chromosome in B? The answer is good. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Class. There are three pairs of homologous chromosome in B. Three pairs of homologous chromosome. That means two n equal to Six. The homologous chromosome, three, three pairs, and the chromosomal number, that means the number of chromosome, is equal to six. Now, we look at the term chromatin. Class, actually chromatin, chromatic chromosome, they are the different terms, but actually they are the same things. Huh? But it's the condition in which a different uh, structure or different condition of the chromosome we call it different name for example chromatin chromatin is a chromosome that look like a long track when the chromosome look like a long track we call it chromatin okay so you can see here this is the chromatin this is the duplicated chromatin okay which consists of two sister chromatin okay this one and this one they are sister chromatin so when the chromosome condenses to become shorter and thicker, like this, we call it chromosome. So actually, they are the same things, but the name is different because they are different in different conditions. The thread line, we call it chromatin. As long as you see the thread line, the answer must be chromatin. Okay? So when it condenses, becomes shorter and thicker, it is called chromosome. This is chromatin. Okay? So inside the nucleus, this is nucleus. The dense part of the nucleus, we call it nucleolus, and the chromatin. When the cells does not undergo cell division, the, the chromosome is in the form of thread line, so we call it chromatin. Okay, so we finish about 6.1. Uh, please do formative practice 6.1, page 100 in your textbook. Okay, you do it in your long book class. So that's all for today's lesson. Thank you class.